Okay, guys. Good morning, everyone. So, in last class, we discussed about import uh, importance of selenium. We understood. So, we will discuss about selenium features. No. What are the features of selenium? Importance of selenium. Why selenium is more popular? Okay, why selenium is more popular? So, so in the last class we have discussed selenium is a selenium is a open source software. Selenium is a open source software. Anyone can download it. Okay, anyone can download it. It's a freeware. That is one of the reason selenium is. You know, it's become very popular because Selenium is an open source software. It's a freeware. Anyone can download it. And it supports browser compatibility teaching. It supports browser compatibility testing. So what does this mean? In last class, we discussed browser compatibility means Guys, can anyone tell me what is browser compatibility means? We can use it in any browser. Yeah, the programs we can run on any browser. In the first line, we have to mention Chrome browser, or Edge browser, or Firefox browser, so that the remaining lines of code it will be executed on the responding browser. So you no need to write separate program for every browser specific. Okay, so it supports browser compatibility testing. And one of the main important feature is Selenium Grid. Selenium Grid means, suppose you are having, you want to execute thousand scripts. You want to execute thousand scripts, but if you are executing all thousand scripts in the single system, it might take four or five working days. So you you can you can distribute the test execution among multiple systems. Suppose whenever you will click on Run button. So 200 test cases will be executed on system one, remaining 200 will be executed on system two. So system three, 200, system four, 200, system five, 200. So the distribution will be happened. Okay. So the test execution. So by using Selenium grid feature, we can distribute the test execution among multiple systems. We can distribute. Test cases, test case execution among multiple node systems. So that we can able to complete the test execution very fast within short span of time. Okay. All right. Selenium, it supports parallel testing execution, parallel tests. Parallel test execution. Suppose in system one, let's assume in system one, there are 200 test cases are executing. Okay. Parallel test execution means it's not like that all 200 test cases has to execute one by one. At one go, we can open five browsers and we can execute it. So Chrome browser, let's open Chrome browser instances five and five programs will be executed in first iteration. And in the second iteration, remaining five. And in the third iteration, remaining five. So like that. So even 200 test cases execution also, we can execute it parallelly. Okay. It's not like that the once after completion of one program, second program has to start. It is not a sequential approach. We can execute our test scripts parallelly as well. Okay, sir, instead of executing five programs, why can't we execute all 200 programs set at time? We can execute all 200 test cases, but your system will be hanged. Suppose if you are opening manually your browsers, Chrome browsers, 100 sessions, automatically at certain point of view, your browser will be crashed after some time. So it is not recommended. Maximum, we can uh, we can be able to open four or five so that uh, the system is capable to execute those many systems and it can be able to manage test execution very fast. 
So parallel test execution. Getting of external data, external data, getting of external data from Excel, CSV, Notepad is very easy. So getting of external data, suppose you want to enter name, first name, last name, middle name, phone number, all this information, first name, last name, email, uh, mobile number, okay, address line one, address line two, all this information we can maintain in an Excel file, we can maintain in a CSV file, we can maintain in a notepad. So getting of the data, getting of reading of the data from the external file system. So whenever your program is executing, your program try, tries to retrieve the input data from these files. So getting of external data from the Excel CSV notepad is very easy. It's very easy in Selenium Java. But if you go for other automation tools, you have to buy separate licenses for getting of data from Excel, getting of data from CSV files, getting of data from notepads. You have to buy additional licenses. Okay, everything it's a maintenance, maintenance cost will be added. But here in Selenium Java, everything is freeware. Okay. And one more feature. Ah, test results are very accurate. Very accurate. It saves time. Budget, budget for the clock. So test results are very accurate because those, those test evidences are got generated through automation. Okay, so those are automation generated and it saves time because you no need to wait uh, days and days like that. Okay, you can, the test evidences will be generated within short span of time and budget for the client. You no need to engage so many 10 members resource in the project. At least one or two members, if you are engaging, that would be fine. Okay. So those are the Selenium features. So let me save it on the document. Okay. To install Selenium, to install Selenium, we required four softwares. One is Eclipse software. Second one, webdriver.exe. Third one, a Java and test engine. Fourth one, Browsers. Chrome browser, Edge browser, um, Firefox browser, whatever. So any other browser combination. So to install Selenium, we have to install these four softwares. Eclipse, WebDriver.exe, Java and TestNG and browsers. Chrome browser, RH browser, these are the four software is, needs to be installed. So in Eclipse, Eclipse, what is an Eclipse means? It is, a, it is an editor where we will write our Selenium Java programs. It's an editor. To write Selenium Java programs. Okay, so webdriver.exe. What is webdriver.exe? Suppose in your program, you will write a commands to launching of a uh, browser. We will write webdriver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. To maximize the window, we will write driver.manage.window.maximize. To launch an application URL, we will write driver.get application URL. So to perform every action, we will write some set of commands. Okay. So each and every command, we can call it as a driver command. Okay. 
So each and suppose if you write a driver is equal to new Chrome driver. So whenever this line got executed, Chrome browser window will be launched. Okay. And driver dot get and within the double quotation, we will specify application URL. Application URL will be invoked on that window. Okay. So what so the driver commands, the driver commands. will be executed by webdriver.exe. Huh. Driver commands will be passed. Driver commands will be passed to Chrome browser. So webdriver.exe, we can call it as a mediator or interface. Webdriver.exe, you can call it as a mediator interface. Because in, in Selenium program, you have written some set of driver commands. Every command, it will go to webdriver.exe. And webdriver.exe will forward that request to Chrome browser. Okay. So in Selenium program, we have written set of driver commands. This command, it will go to webdriver.exe. And webdriver.exe is forwarding to Chrome browser. So that's why webdriver.exe, we, we are calling as a mediator or interface. So each and every command is going to webdriver.exe and webdriver.exe forwarding that request to Chrome browser. So that's why webdriver.exe we are calling as a mediator or interface. Okay, right. And Java and test engine. What is Java and test engine? So Java is a programming language. And test engine is also supporting library software. Okay. Supporting library software. So to write your Selenium programs, these are the softwares has to be installed on your Eclipse. Okay. Then only your Selenium programs will be executed. And anyway, the pro the program has to execute on required combinations, Chrome or Edge or Firefox browser combinations. Now let's see how to write a sample program in Eclipse. Okay, so today's class is how to launch a Chrome browser and how to automate a login base. Okay, let's go to the Chrome browser. So I'm opening an application, open source Orange HRM. This is a sample web application. This is a sample web application most of the people they will use for automation practice, they will use this website only. Open Orange HRM login. Okay. So, so I once after launching this URL, I want to enter username as admin. A username as admin and password as admin123. And I want to click on login button. So user is navigated to home base. Okay, user is navigated to home base. So, and I want to click on welcome button and I want to click on logout. So that user is navigated back to login base. Okay, I want to automate this functionality. I want to automate this functionality and I want to, um, so by using Selenium Java. So before automating, we have to know what is that web terminology. So in web terminology, we can call this, these fields, we can call it as a text field. And this we can call it as a button in web terminology. In web terminology, we can call forgot your password. We can call it as a hyperlink. Okay. So hyperlink means whenever you will click on that link, it will be navigated to some new page. Okay. So these we can call it as a labels. Okay. Label means information purpose the uh, user is providing. Okay. So, but in Selenium, we can call single thing, uh, but in, in web terminology, each and everything we are calling as a different names. But in Selenium point of view, we can call single name as web element. Username is one web element. Password is one web element. Login button is one web element. Forgot your password is one web element. Everything we can call it as a web element. Okay. So we cannot call text fields, login buttons, hyperlinks like that. So in Selenium terminology, everything we can call it as a web element. For every web element, for every web element, a developer will use some properties, ID, name, and export, and CSS selector. 
So for every web element, it contains this information. ID, name, XPath, and CSS selector. Okay, let's go to this one. I want to know what is the web element ID of this web element. I want to know what is the name of this web element. Okay, so let's, if you want to know the particular web element ID, name, or XPath, or CSS selector, just you need to right click. Okay, just you can right click and click on inspect. Okay, click on inspect button. So I'm clicking on inspect button. So the moment when I click on inspect button, this line got highlighted. Because on this button only, I right click and I click on inspect. See, this line got highlighted. So here developer had given name is equal to username. Got the point you are able to see, right? Name is equal to username, but developer had not given ID. Okay, so for this web element, developer had not given ID. So let me show you. So for this web element, developer had given name is equal to username, but ID has not been given. Okay, so let's go to the notepad. Name is equal to username, but ID has not been given anything. And let's go to the X path. How to get the X path of this web element? X path means if you want to get the X path of this particular web element, just you need to click on these three dots. Go to copy. One second. Go to copy and take the copy X path. Okay. So click on three dots, go to copy and take the copy X path. So this is the X path. Okay, so this is the X path. So name is equal to ID, ID value he has not given, name value he had given, and X path. This is the X path of that particular web element. And CSS selector we can discuss later. Okay, so like that. And I want to know, and I want to know password web element name ID X path. So if you want to know the name or ID or password web element X path, just you can right click, click on inspect. So this line got highlighted. Okay. So here developer had given name is equal to password. Okay. Let's take name is equal to password. Name is equal to password he has given. But ID also he has not given. So I'm not giving anything. And X path. X path is equal to. So I have to click on these three dots. Go to copy and take the copy X path. So I have taken X path of this particular web element. Okay. So every web element it contains ID, name, and X path. If developer is not giving ID value, let's we, we should go with name. If developer is not giving ID or name, we have to refer X path. Okay. So every web element is mandatorily, it contains some information like either ID, name, or XPath. 100% every web element, it contains XPath by default. Okay. So now, now we understood every web element, we, to, we can identify the web element based on ID, based on name, based on XPath, or based on CSS selector. Okay. So now, now let's go to the web page. So now I'm going to Eclipse. I'm launching my Eclipse here. So now we understood web terminology. Every web element, it contains ID, name, or XPath. OK. So once I launched my Eclipse, we can able to see Eclipse page like this. Once I launch my web page, I can able to see my web page like uh, my Eclipse page like this. So on the left hand side, whatever you are seeing, we can call it as a projects. Okay. On the left hand side, whatever we are seeing, we can call it as a projects. So let's let me open the existing project Selenium 44 project. I'm expanding. So the moment when you will create a new project, automatically this folder structure will be created. Okay. So how to create a project part we can discuss in third class. Okay. Let us assume there is project already had been created. 
so by default the moment when you will create the project these all folder structure it will come automatically okay okay now let me expand src test java see in src test java you are able to see so many things okay these we can call it as a package what we can call package okay package is nothing but it's just like a folder okay so now let me create a folder here under src test java i want to create a folder or i want to create a package okay so to create the package just right click go to new and click on package okay to create your own package so i am going to create new package so i am i want to create a package name as abc11 this is the package package name i want to create so let's click on finish see abc11 project got create uh, package got created and let me close this so the abc1 package got created automatically means a, so a folder was created in my package so under this package i want to create a test ng program i want to write a selenium program so to write a selenium program just you need to right click on this package go to test ng and click on create test ng class okay to write your selenium programs you need to right click go to test ng and click on create test ng class okay just i am clicking create test ng class and here i am giving tc01 underscore login so you can give program name whatever you want so i am giving my program name as tc01 underscore login so let's click on finish so tc01 underscore login dot java file got created okay so this code was auto populated i will explain this one as well so let me create one more test ng class file so in a package you can create n number of programs so right click go to test ng click on create test ng class and you can create tc02 underscore login so tc02 underscore login and i am clicking on finish see one more test ng class file got created so like this you can create n number of test ng class files what's the point so like that you can create your selenium programs like this so go to test ng and click on create test ng class and create tc03 <coughs> underscore login you can give program name whatever you want so like that i have created n number of test ng class files so let me double click in one of the program so here my java class file name is tc01 underscore login a class which contains a class which contains methods so this we can call it as a method what we can call method java file name and class name it has to be same suppose if you are giving some different name system cannot accept it so whatever file name is there you have to make sure the same class name is populated a class can contains method so public void f f means function okay so you can write a method name login method so login test you can write method name whatever you want in a class i can write multiple methods suppose if you want to write one more method i can write login test one don't give the duplicate names you can give some different name if you want to write one more method you can write it every method it contains starting curling bracket and ending curling bracket login test 2 got the point so in a class we can write multiple methods every method it contains starting curling bracket and ending curling bracket okay so this is our first program right so i am not writing multiple methods just deleting right guys so this is my program so now let me write some simple program before entering into the selenium java program selenium program let's write calculation of two mem two numbers okay suppose integer a comma b comma c integer a b c okay and the actual coding part we will write inside a method okay so a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c is equal to a plus b 
and system dot out dot print within the double quotation you can write message sum of numbers <coughs> you can write whatever confirmation message within double quotations you can write and plus the resultant value is in c so sum of numbers is so c value it prints okay now let me i am saving this program and i want to run this program okay i want to run this program so when you run this program the console section here is a console section it will print the program output here okay now let me run this program right click and run as test ng test so to execute a program just you need to right click go to run as and click on test ng test okay let me run as test ng test so the program got passed what is my method name login test where is that uh, so the passed login test is passed and the sum of numbers is 30 so that value got printed sum of numbers is 30 that value got printed so like that okay we can write the basic programs suppose Suppose, can I declare, sir, why I need to declare C? I can declare it as D. You have doubt. But system is showing some error here. So whatever variables you are going to use in the coding part. So the actual coding part we are writing inside a method. So D system doesn't know what is meant by D. So whichever variables you are going to use, you have to declare those variables here. Otherwise, system doesn't know and those lines will be, it will be error. Okay. So, you, whatever variables you are going to use inside the program, you must have to declare it here. So, this section, we can call it as a declaration section. Declaration section. And whatever inside the method part you are writing, that part we can call it as a coding section. Okay. So, a class can contains declaration section and methods. Every method it contains starting curling bracket and ending curling bracket. A class can contains declaration section and methods. What is a class? Interviews people are asking. Okay. A class can contains a declaration section and methods. Every method contains starting and ending curling bracket. No need to specify in the interview. Okay. Starting and ending. By default, they, they, they will come to this. Okay. A class can contains declaration section and methods. That's it. So this is the basic program of Java. Now let's jump into the Selenium program. Okay, I'm saving this program. So in the second program, I want to write. So after entering into the class, I'm just, just press the enter key so that we are clear what is the starting and curling, ending curling bracket of a class and a method. Just press the enter key. Okay. So I pressed the enter key. So now I am very clear. The class, this is the starting curling bracket and this is the ending curling bracket. And for this method, this is the starting and this is the ending. Okay, that is good practice. Once you create a test ng class, just press enter after the class. Okay, so here you can rename the method name as login test. Okay, so to write a Selenium programs, to write a Selenium programs in the declaration section, you have to write web driver. Driver. To write a Selenium program, you have to declare a web driver object. If it is a Java program related to uh, A, B, C, calculation, something like that, you are declaring integer A, comma, B, comma, C. Similarly, to write your set of driver commands in Selenium, you have to declare a web driver object like this. Okay. Make sure W is capital and D is capital. Okay. Selenium Java is a case sensitive. Okay. You should not supposed to write small letter like this. Okay. Web driver means W capital and D capital. And I'm saving. So the system is, it is showing some error here. Just keep the mouse over here. Just keep the mouse over and click on import web driver. Okay, I'm clicking on import web driver. So this line got added. So this line got added automatically. So here, whatever import statement, we can call it as a supporting libraries. Without supporting libraries, your program's errors, it cannot be fixed. Suppose if, you de if I delete this line, See that web driver, it is showing some error. So to execute your Selenium programs, you must have to import Selenium supporting libraries. So these libraries are developed by Selenium team. 
okay so you must have to make sure all the supporting libraries are imported in your program okay now the first line in my selenium so the actual coding part i said we have to write inside a method okay one second the actual coding part we will write inside a method i said okay so the first line is i am writing web driver okay one second i already declared web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver driver is equal to new chrome driver so here it is showing some error if it is showing some error just keep the mouse over and it is asking supporting library okay so the supporting library this line got imported automatically so what is this line meaning is whenever this line number 15 is executed a chrome browser window will be launched okay the first command is we have to launch our chrome browser driver is equal to new chrome driver so that driver means browser will be opened okay next one is driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so whenever this line got executed window will be maximized okay right driver dot get application url https colon amazon dot in so i want to launch amazon dot in okay okay i want to launch amazon so i am saving this program so by going through these three lines of code we are understanding what is the meaning the okay, driver is equal to new chrome driver means chrome browser window is launched maximized and application url is invoked okay let's run this program run as so i am selecting my second program and doing run as test ng test so now let's see my chrome browser window it will be launched automatically see it's launched and it's maximized and application url was opened automatically got the point so so in selenium to launch a chrome browser you have to write like this you have to maximize the window like this and you can invoke the application url like this suppose now i want to launch my orange hrm application url so let me take this url so if i will run this program this time my orange hrm url will be launched okay let me run as test ng test to so it's launched and it's maximized and orange hrm url is opened okay so now i want to enter username i want to click on pass i want to enter password and after that i want to click on login button these are the lines of code so the first command i want to enter username the second command i want to enter password and the third command i want to enter login button so how many commands i have to write three, three commands let me write the three commands what is this line number 21 i will explain in the next class so let me write three commands 1 2 3 okay let me write the command name as driver dot driver dot driver dot driver dot so the first one web element name we already written the web element name the first web element we identified name as username okay so i have written driver dot find element by name and send keys means what is the value i want to type so i want to type the value as admin and second one i want to type the value as admin 1 2 3 what is the name for that what is the name he has given name is equal to password he has given okay so driver dot find element by name password so developer had given web element reference name name value had been given password and the last one developer had not given for login button okay for login button 
So let me inspect, right click, click on inspect. So here developer had not given name or ID. Developer had not given name or ID. If his developer is giving name is equal to login button, then I will write driver dot find element by name, login button dot click I can write. But developer had not given name here. So let's click on these three dots, copy, take copy, xpath. I'm taking the xpath. Okay. So let's go to here. And here it is, you can, one second. So this is the xpath we have taken, copy xpath. Okay. So here, instead of double quotations, keep it single quotations inside the xpath. And let's take it, let's take this xpath. So this web element we are identifying based on xpath, right? So you can write xpath. If developer, if you are right, we can locate a web element either by ID, by name, or by xpath. So if you are right, if developer is giving by ID, you can give username one, two, three, something like that, whatever developer had given. But developer had not given name, so ID has not given, so I'm taking name. And for second one, the second button also, developer had given name property, so I have written, I have written name is equal to password. And the login button, developer had not given name or ID property, so I have taken xpath. Okay, so that's why driver dot find element by xpath. And this is a click operation, this is a button. So if it is a typo value, you will write send keys. Okay. If it is a typo value, you will write send keys. If this is a button, right? So we are performing click operation. So generally in any of the website, what we will do, we'll do send keys. We will type some value. If you want to type something, you have to use send keys. If you want to do click operation, just you have to write dot click operation. Okay, so the first portion of the section we can call it as a web element. What we can call web element. On a web element, what are the operations that we can perform? Send keys, send keys, or click operation. Okay, so driver dot find element by name, or driver dot find element by ID, driver dot find element by xpath. So you can write a web element based on name or based on ID or based on xpath. So here, the username web element identified based on name, password web element identified based on name, and last button developer had not given name or ID, I have taken xpath. Okay, I'm saving this program. Now let me run my program now. So this time what will happen? So I'm not explaining about line number 22. So this about line number 22, I will explain in the later classes. So let me run this program, run as test ng test. So driver is equal to new Chrome driver, maximized application URL is invoked, and a username value entered admin, password one, admin123, one, and it's clicked on login button, it's navigated to home base. Got the point? So, so where so if you want to perform set of driver commands, so these are the lines of so you have to write a web element. So how to write a web element syntax? Driver dot find element by name, driver dot find element by xpath, driver dot find element by id. If developer is giving id, we have to take id. Okay. Okay. Now let's. Okay. Now let's go to the other problem. So after every curly bracket, just press enter. Just press enter. So now I want to write an Amazon application. Okay, so what is the first section I told you in the declaration section to write Selenium programs? Web driver, driver, declaration section. Uh, I'm saving this program. What I have to do? I have to import. Okay, let me import web driver. It's got imported. Uh, what is the first line I said? Driver is equal to new program. New program. Uh, next, okay, it is showing. So you have to import Chrome driver supporting library. And after that, driver yeah, dot manage dot window dot maximize. That window will be maximized. Okay. 
Next, I want to launch my URL, driver.getamazon.in. Okay, Amazon.in website got opened. Okay, let me save this program and we will verify up to this part is working fine. Okay, so run as test engine test. So it's open up to here. My setup driver commands got executed. Okay. So here in the search dot Amazon, I want to type a value as mobile. Okay. So this text, so this is one web element. This web element also contains ID, name, or XPath. So I want to know what is the ID, what is the name or XPath for this web element. What I need to do? Right click. Inspect. Click on inspect. So here body got highlighted. This body line got highlighted. In case body line got highlighted, you have to inspect one more thing. Okay. So now right click, click on inspect. So this time here body not body line not highlighted. Okay. Input. You are able to see input. So here developer had given ID is equal to. You are able to see right. Developer had given ID is equal to name. Name also he had given. Name also he had given fire for name also he had given. So if we can write, so let me take, I want to write this web element. So ID is equal to this, the one he had. Given. Okay. Now I want to, so in every program, we have to write this program on this line. We have to write it. Okay. And after that, I want to, let me copy one line of code. A reference purpose just I'm taking this line control C so driver dot find element by ID so I'm taking this one this is the ID okay so that web element text field was selected is it a click operation or type of value we have to write some value so what we value I want to type I want to type mobiles what is the point? I want to type mobiles. Right. I am saving the program. Okay. I want to type. So after executing that line, mobiles will be typed. After that, what I need to do? I want to click on this search button. So this search button also, it contains some name or ID or expert. Let me inspect this search button. Click. So click on inspect. So here. Navigation search submit button. ID is equal to what have been given. Navigation search is submit button. Okay. So this is a send keys operation or click operation. I have to take. Click. Click. Okay. Dot click. So your job is you are locating the web element based on ID. Or based on name or based on X path. ID name, ID name. Uh, if developer is giving ID, you can take ID. If developer is not giving ID, let's take name. If developer is not at all giving ID or name, you can take X path. Okay. So now, so this web element is a click operation. We are not typing anything because on that one we have to click. Okay, let me save this program and let's run this program now. PC03 login.java selecting. Run as test engine test. So Amazon.in website. So mobiles got typed and it's clicked on search. See all the mobile list it's came. Got it? So like that. So we understood how to write set of driver comments. Is there any difficulty in this program? Is there any difficulty? Okay. So writing of Selenium Java programs is that much simple. Just you have to know driver dot find element by ID, driver dot find element by name, or driver dot find element by X path. Okay. If developer is giving ID, let's take ID. If developer is not giving ID, let's take name. If developer is not at all giving ID name, just click on those three dots, copy, copy X path, and you can write X path. So while writing X path, you have to write X path here. Driver dot find element by X path. And whatever X path is there, you can write it. 
okay so the first part we can call it what we can call here this first part what we can call no no what i said the first part whatever text i highlighted web element okay how to write a web element driver dot find element by id driver dot find element by name driver dot find element by x path after that we will write either send keys or tier so generally in any of the website we will type some value or we will do click operation if you want to type you can write send keys so on a web element what are the operations that we can perform send keys or click operation okay so that's it on the basic programs for today's class guys so we understood what are the various commands okay and we understood how to create a package under a package how to create a test ng class also we understood okay so now let me close all these programs i'm right clicking and i'm doing close all so i'm closing all the programs at a time we can't say so program so tell me guys how to create a test ng program on this package what i need to do right click and uh, click uh, test ng create test ng tcg a new name and uh, finish login okay click on finish so program got created after that what i told you immediately two space bars two and okay after every starting curling bracket just enter two spaces that's it and uh, what is the next step we have to do declaration section for object web driver okay okay web driver if we have to import supporting library imported okay. and method name you can rename it login test whatever name you can give okay and next what is the first line to launch my chrome browser driver is chrome driver so these three lines are common guys in every program these three lines are common in the interviews also people are asking can you please write a program to launch my chrome browser driver is equal to new chrome driver uh, next driver dot manage dot window dot and driver dot get whichever application url that you want to invoke you can write within the double quotation up to these three lines are common okay so that's it guys that's it for today's class we can catch you by tomorrow just a minute somebody pinged in group so what is driver dot close driver dot fit we can discuss in the next class guys in the beginning class i am not telling okay that's it for today's class guys video recording it will be shared by from today onwards please thank you